time to illustrate more prehistoric animals. Last week, we drew two dinosaurs. This week, we're going to draw two animals that look like dinosaurs, but they're not. The first one is called a plesiosaur, a plesiosaurus, and the plesiosaurus lives in the water, the ocean specifically. So I'm going to go ahead and make a little page for myself. And you'll notice I turned my page landscape. So if you want to turn your paper landscape too, that'd be great. So our plesiosaur lives in the ocean. I'm going to go ahead and make a wavy line to separate the ocean and the sky. And now we can draw in our plesiosaur. Now remember, draw light until you get it right because you're going to have some lines to erase. So, first we need an oval for our plesiosaur's body. I'm going to set it off to the side. And then we need a long line, two long lines for a thin, long neck. Okay, this animal looks kind of like Nessie, the Loch Ness Monster. So, now our plesiosaur has a bump up and then a bump over. And if you want to give it an open mouth, you can. And it has that kind of a lizardy face like we drew on the Stegosaurus. So let's go ahead and give it an eye and a nostril. And if you want, you can sharp teeth. Because the plesiosaur ate animals and fish and other things and it tore it apart with its sharp teeth. Let's pull you closer. Now it needs four fins to get through the water. So to make these fins, you're gonna go on either side of the body. You're gonna have a curve out and then a smaller curve in. So they look like paddles because that's how they work. A curve out, a smaller curve in, and then on the other side, a curve out, smaller curve in, curve out, smaller curve in. This line is gonna be erased as is the one by the neck, but I'm going to leave the other two because they are hidden behind the body. Now last our plesiosaur needs a tail, so we're going to make a long tail right behind it. If you want to give the plesiosaur something to eat, you can draw some fish in the ocean, maybe a megalodon or other sharks or prehistoric animals, up to you. But the most important thing is our next animal, our next prehistoric, not a dinosaur, that is gonna be friends with our plesiosaur. And that one flies in the sky. This is called a pterodactyl, pterodactyl. Now a pterodactyl is a flying reptile not a dinosaur, but we need to start off drawing it with another circle. So wherever you want your pterodactyl, give it a little circle for a head. Pretty little. It's a small animal, and it's got a lot of body. So next, um, we're going to go a little down and a little over, and we're going to make a diagonal oval. That's going to be our pterodactyl's body. So right now it looks like a letter I floating in the sky. And now our pterodactyl has a very unique face. So we're going to go ahead and have a long straight line that goes across both sides of that circle. One of them is going to come in diagonally for a mouth. One of them is going to come in diagonally for a crest. And well, one with our mouth, we need to give it another triangle for an open mouth and then connect it in a thin neck. Okay, it's pretty small. I'll move you up more so that you can see a little bit better what I'm drawing. All right, so now we have our face, we have our body, we need to make our wings. So for the wings, you're gonna go from the, from the shoulder. See that shoulder right here? Go up. And then over. All right, and then you're going to do the same thing over here. Oh, except you're going to go down and then down again diagonally. Okay, and then make a big curve to connect the edge of the wings to the body. 
Go ahead and give it two little feet. Erase our circles in there that we used as guides. Oh, actually, we're going to leave that circle in there. And go ahead and give it a face. If you want to make yours bigger, if you want to draw it again, you can. If you want to give it some details like that to show the inside of the wings, some claws, you can. And that is our pterodactyl and our plesiosaurus. Next week, we're going to make our very last prehistoric dinosaur, prehistoric animal. The dinosaur whose name you might know the best, one of the most famous ones. So I'll look forward to seeing I'll look forward to seeing you then.